Hi, it's Mrs. Tucker again. This is one of my favorite stories that we're going to read today. This is our lesson four story in unit one of our journeys curriculum. And the title of this story is Diary of a Spider. And I just really enjoy this story. Our author for this story is Doreen Cronin. And the pictures are by Harry Bliss. So over here again, we're going to meet the author, Doreen Cronin. It says, two spiders have moved into Doreen Cronin's office, but she says she cannot bring herself to get rid of them. If you like Diary of a Spider, check out Ms. Cronin's other books, Diary of a Worm and Diary of a Fly. And I can tell you I've read those books and they are just as much fun as this Diary of a Sp Spider story. Now, we do have an illustrator for this story. Our illustrator's name is Harry Bliss. It says, whenever Harry Bliss visits classrooms, he asks students to scribble on the board. He then turns their scribbles into an animal, a tree, or a cartoon character. This scribble game helps kids use their imagination. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. Now, as with our other stories, we're going to talk about the genre or the type of story that this is. And this type of story or genre of this story is humorous fiction. I see the word humor in the word humorous fiction. Humor means something is funny. So humorous fiction is a story that is written to make the reader laugh. So the whole reason why Doreen Cronin wrote this story is just to make you laugh. And as we read through these stories, we usually see characters who do or say funny things because, you know, the author wants to make you laugh or we might see events that would not happen in real life. So this kind of story is a completely make-believe story. And we'll talk a little bit more about what makes it completely make-believe as we go along. But I think some of it will be a little bit obvious as you go through and see who the characters are in this story. Now, as with our other stories, we have our essential question that we'll talk about throughout the next few days. And our essential question for this story is, how do good friends act? So think about that for a little while, and we will discuss it at another time. March 1st, or March 1. Today was Grandparents' Day at school. I So I brought Grandpa with me. He taught us three things. One, spiders are not insects. Insects have six legs. Two, without spiders, insects could take over the world. Three, butterflies taste better with a little barbecue sauce. Hmm. March 16. Grandpa says that in his day, flies and spiders did not get along. Things are different now. And I'm going to read this little piece of newspaper. It says, the compost times, spiders and flies rumble in the city. And we'll talk more about that at another time, what that means too. And here is Spider saying, this is awesome! March 29. Today in gym class, we learned how to catch the wind so we could travel to faraway places. Next. When I got home, I made up flashcards so I could practice. One, climb high. Two, release silk. Three, catch wind. Fly made up her own flashcard. One, fly. I'm starting to see why Grandpa doesn't like her. April 1. I went to the park with my sister today. We tried the seesaw. It didn't work. We tried the tire swing. It didn't work. We spun a huge sticky web on the water fountain. That worked. Eek! April 12. Today was safety day at school. We learned that vacuums eat spider webs and are very, very dangerous. If we hear a vacuum, we should stop, drop, and run. Stop what we're doing, drop from the web, and run like crazy. April 13. We had a vacuum drill today. I stopped what I was doing, forgot where I was going, and ran screaming from the room. Help! We're having another drill tomorrow. 
April 17. I'm sleeping over at Worm's house tonight. I hope they don't have leaves and rotten tomatoes for dinner again. May 7. Mom said I was getting too big for my own skin, so I molted. Worm is saying, that is so gross. May 8. Today was show and tell, so I brought in my old skin. My teacher called on it to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. You there, why don't you get us started? Right here's his skin down at the bottom. June 5. Daddy Longlegs made fun of Fly because she eats with her feet. Now she won't come out of her treehouse. I'm going to find him and give him a piece of my mind. June 6. I found Daddy Longlegs. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I gave him a piece of my lunch instead. June 7. Fly's treehouse blew away in the wind today. So did Grandpa. Grandpa has a map of Paris in his hand. June 18. I got a postcard from Grandpa today. Dear Spider, woo la la, I landed in Paris. French bugs are delicious. Au revoir, Grandpa. Leg of French gnat. Give it a try. June 30. Grandpa came home today. I couldn't wait to hear about how he rode the winds all the way over the ocean. Turns out he caught a breeze to the airport and napped in first class. You can see that down at the bottom of the picture, he's sleeping in a plane. July 2. Fly came over to play today. She got stuck in our web and her mom had to come get her. Grandpa laughed a little too hard. From now on, we have to play at Fly's house. Fly saying, hi mom. July 9. Today was my birthday. Grandpa decided I was old enough to know the secret to a long, happy life. Never fall asleep in a shoe. July 16. Things I scare. One. Fly's mom. It wasn't his fault, mom. Two. Tiny bugs. Three. People using water fountains at the park. <coughs> July 17. Things that scare me. One, daddy long legs. Two, vacuums. Three, people with big feet. No! August 1. I wish that people wouldn't judge all spiders based on the few spiders that bite. I know if we took the time to get to know each other, we would get along just fine. Just like me and fly. That's the end of our story for today. Again, if you want to go back and listen to it, you can. We will be reading through it a couple more times. But I appreciate you listening now, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!